Ladies and gentlemen, freaks and geeks, I've just been listening to the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, the interview with David Grush, military Air Force pilot that was on the verge of becoming a lieutenant colonel, but had his career destroyed because he got too close to the truth and wanted to reveal to the world that we are not alone, that there are extraterrestrial crafts, extraterrestrial beings out there, which is something I've been saying for 20 years, ladies and gentlemen. And as we move into the age of Aquarius, where we are moving into, a, into an age of information, into an age of enlightenment, as they say, I am realizing that regardless of how much truth is put out there, there are some people that just don't want to accept it. You will go blue in the face trying to convince people of the truth, ladies and gentlemen. That's one thing I've learned over the last few years, as we've had certain truths being revealed that are too dire, too ontologically disturbing for people to accept. People often come up with insane ideas, anything that can detract from the legitimacy of what that truth is. But make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, if you listen to the interview, it should be no doubt to you that first and foremost, because there are a lot of things that are up in the air, but there are certain things that are not up in the air. If you are being honest with yourself, if you have exposed yourself to enough information, you open your mind as well as your heart, but not to the point where you get an open infection. You know, you want to have a bit of critical thinking here. Unequivocally, as David Grush says, and I, I arrived at this 20 years ago, ladies and gentlemen, when I delved deeply into this topic. The United States government, along with many other organizations, entities, black ops, call them what you will, have been covering up encounters with not just extraterrestrial craft. Because a lot of people, I realize, play this game. Well, we, we don't know where these craft are from. I mean, it could be just some remote control vehicle. No, Momo. There are <laughs> no nations we are aware of that have this advanced kind of technology. And more to the point, they've actually covered biological entities that are not human in these craft. And there are many eyewitness reports, many government agencies, many entities that have essentially had close encounters with this kind of stuff. Now we're talking about extraterrestrial beings. Unequivocally, we are not alone, ladies and gentlemen. Unequivocally, the United States government has covered up this information. They've found craft. They've covered this up. This has been shrouded with the same level of secrecy as the development of the nuclear bomb under the Manhattan Project. This is why a lot of people, it seems, still don't know about this kind of stuff. Now, granted, I would say that you can find out about this stuff if you really wanted to, but more often than not, people either just don't have the time, don't want to know because it doesn't align with their sense of the world, and sometimes people just don't want to accept the truth because they're not ready for it. But unequivocally, ladies and gentlemen, there are extraterrestrial beings. And it's not just a recent phenomenon. I mean, there have been documented reports of this stuff with government entities since the 1930s, but going back to the 1800s, going back thousands of years, I mean, a lot of people think that this is some kind of a recent phenomenon. Then there are some people who think that this is a, a phenomenon that took place thousands of years ago. Both are true. This stuff has been something that's been going on for a long time. And another thing, this is another fact, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> you ready for it? A lot of people want to talk about where they come from, what their origins are. Like there's one source here. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many sources. Personally, I like uh, tomato sauce. I like, <laughs> I like some uh, soy sauce. No, but se seriously, ladies and gentlemen, there are many culprits at play. There are many different alien races. A lot of people are familiar with the greys from Zeta Reticuli, the Pleiadians, the Andromedans. And we can go into a lot of lore, but one thing we definitely know, this is based of evidence. This isn't some kind of hippie, airy-fairy shit that I'm channeling, ladies and gentlemen. This has to do with cross-referencing many different reports. I've gone through top secret documents. I have gone through a tremendous amount of information dealing with this topic. In fact, I would say there are very few people, I, I would say, you know, honesty, that have delved into this topic as deeply as I have. And most people that say they have, 
that arrive at the idea, look, uh, this is a topic that we don't have any definitives on. They're lying to themselves, or they just have not gone deeply enough. There are many different culprits, many different alien races. The idea of trying to understand where these things are coming from is like trying to understand the source of violence in this world. It comes from many different places. And granted, there are certain culprits that are probably responsible for a lot of the violence, but there are many different sources. It doesn't come from one country, it comes from many different countries. We find these things coming from outside of this planet, but also within this planet, also interdimensional, quite possibly. But the idea that we don't know about the origins of these beings is not only unwise, but it is stupid. But the more and more I look at this topic, I realize that people don't want to accept the truth until enough people have accepted the truth. There's this idea I see becoming true time and time again that when enough people believe something is true, regardless of how stupid it is or how true it is, that's when we generally start to see people believing it. People believe in the idea of consensus. A lot of scientists maintain that. Well, no, I don't just believe in consensus. I believe in scientific consensus. Well, here's the truth, Momo. The truth remains the truth regardless of how many people support it. Whether it is a scientist, a cabal of scientists, or a cabal of Momos that believe the Earth is flat. It doesn't matter how many people support something, but psychologically, people are very unwilling to support something because they don't want to be seen as being different. People have this sheepish mentality. People are on team. <laughs> And I think it's incumbent upon us to get out of that mindset. If you really want to understand what is going on in the world, if you want to grow, because the only way that you grow, you gain a better understanding of reality, is by exposing yourself to more truth and dealing with it, even if it confronts your notion of reality. You know, I think of the analogy of the lobster. Uh, it has this shell in order to protect its, itself from a lot of threats and so forth. But as it grows, it removes its shell and grows a new one. It gives it a new reality in order to protect itself. In order to grow, you need to break away your shell from this limited reality that you have, even if your reality does not want to accept something that it is not ready for. And this is the situation with the UFO agenda. A lot of people, because of their religion, because of their values, don't want to accept the idea that there are extraterrestrial beings. This is what I find the more I speak to people on this topic. They have these absolutely insane arguments that are devoid of all of the evidence. Because this, this isn't something that, that is built of air and imagination. I'm not speaking about conspiracy theories here. There are thousands upon thousands of reports of people experiencing this kind of shit. There is information that is coming out right now that if it was to go into a court of law unequivocally, of course, this would never happen. You know, most of these people would end up dead as has happened with most of these uh, speakers that speak about what's going on. But we would arrive at the unequivocal truth that this thing is, is real, that there are extraterrestrial beings. They're coming from various different uh, planets. They're not all terrestrial. But uh, people don't want to accept that because it doesn't align with their worldview. But there are just some thoughts that I wanted to share with y'all in regards to the interview. I think it is the most important interview of 2023. But a lot of people, I would say most people, won't want to watch it because they have already made up their minds. But I think if you are the kind of person that wants to grow, wants to challenge yourself, isn't afraid to deal with truths, then I would invite you to check it out. It is a deeply fascinating conversation. And uh, I mean, for someone like me, there's nothing that was said that I didn't know in terms of what has been going on over the last, well, few centuries. But it is exciting to see this topic getting a lot more coverage now and not being looked at as if it's something built with air and imagination.
Peace.